page view, we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys Warhammer 40k Raven Guard Veteran Sergeant. And here's the figure standing straight out of the box without any crazy poses or accessories. And first of all, I have to beg your forgiveness because I'm a bit of a heretic. I'm not a huge Warhammer 40k fan, but I'm really liking the design and overall aesthetic of the game and the look of these uh, characters in particular that's why i bought this figure i have absolutely no connection to warhammer but i always really like the look of these uh space marines i believe they're called i you know uh, correct me if in the comments if uh, i'm you know missed anything or something like that but the sheer look of this figure it's insane and he's a really hefty figure i mean he is a really heavy figure and quite bulky as well. And I mean, for the about $20 to $30 retail price, this, again, really nice work uh, on McFarlane Toys part because it feels like a much more you know, expensive figure, given the amount of plastic it requires and the details and the paint applications to get this guy to look like this. So I'm really looking forward to this. Let's get right into the accessories. And here are all the accessories that come included with the figure let's start with the most obvious one because every McFarlane figure comes with a display stand this is of course a you know has the Warhammer 40k logo printed on it has a nice pegs I mean the figure doesn't really have problems standing mind you because has he has really big feet but you can still nonetheless plug this in quite nicely and it, he doesn't he can somewhat fit on the display stand and this helps him stand even more and then he comes with his uh, jetpack i believe you know this is most often called a jetpack it has a really big square peg so you can't really put this the wrong way you just kind of here on the back push it in once you push it in, you can even hold the figure by it. It's really, really snug. It's not gonna fall off at all. And we'll take a closer look at that later. Um, let me just stand the figure in the background so it doesn't fall. Okay. Then he comes with a pistol. It probably has a much more detailed name, but I'm not familiar with it. I kind of wish it had a a wash or something because it's just you know painted gray plastic it doesn't have any other paint applications to it which you know it's fine it's just a pistol it's whatever but I still would have liked it I don't know why there's a little hole here on the pistol maybe you can put like a little charm or something you know you put a line through it and you could have something you know hanging from the pistol or something I mean that's a nice idea I don't know what what this is for but as you can see Really nice. A really big looking pistol. It probably packs a real punch. And then there's this, which is, um, I mean, it looks, it's really heavy, so I'm gonna use my hands. Like a chainsaw sword? You know, that's the best I can think of. I'm not, uh, again, I don't know what this is called. Uh, just comment down below if you know. And it's a bit warped, as you can see, but it wouldn't be a McFarlane toys figure if it wasn't warped same with black series everything comes a bit warped but this of course can easily be fixed with hot water I just you know I could just got it out of the box so I didn't bother doing it you can kind of even bend it yourself if you want but it's not gonna it's just gonna bend back in a while um it has a really nice gold skull I really like how metal or metal um or you know, part style, everything on this figure looks, and these characters in general, just skulls and spikes everywhere, which is really nice. This does have a nice wash to it, it seems like, maybe like some silver or something, I'm not sure, maybe it's just sculpted in this color. But the skull does have some wash to it, it seems like. There's a, oh, something here, okay. There's a nice wrap around the hilt, I just noticed. Pretty nice, and you can, you're supposed to put this in his left hand, but it's, uh, it's kind of hard because his hand is 
really hard so you have to kind of pry it open and before it closes oh, jesus christ okay it's in really hard to get it in though but i do have to take it out for the details part so there's that um well let's get right into the accessory uh the details mind you so let's take a look at the details of the figure starting from top to bottom uh Really liking the color scheme on this guy. Really liking the just black and white and the occasional red in some areas. Really liking the red visors. Really makes him evil. Um, and as I've said, the amount of skulls and just metal looking things on this guy. Um, as you can see, there's this skull in the middle of his chest that has the wings coming out of it. Really cool. I wish the eyes of the skull was painted black, but you can easily fix that if you want. And there's a little silver skull on his uh, forehead as well, really nice. He is really big, really heavy, one of the heaviest figures that I've ever held in my hand. Uh, really liking this white eagle on his shoulder, I mean it's well, it's actually probably the raven because this guy is a raven guard veteran sergeant, I believe his full name is. Really liking that there's a silver crucifix again with this skull on it, that's really metal, I mean that's just really really liking this and there's this little shield thing here i don't know what this is for maybe there would be an insignia here you can paint this if you want i know warhammer fans are really into uh, painting because they have these little miniatures of the figures uh, of the characters that they paint i don't know what this symbol is it's, there's probably some meaning to it. let me down in the comments below again we're liking the red Kind of off that the belt is painted brown. I, w I actually think that it would be better if it was black as well. Or maybe white to go with everything else that's white. Really liking this. is You know, it's a three and a and a and an, uh, an I letter or something. I don't know what this is. Let me know in the comments below if you do. Let's take a look at the back. And okay, there's some ammo pouches here. I didn't notice these. Really nice, so maybe it is good that it's brown. <laughs> Let's take a look at this jetpack. As you can see, it's the same color as the figure, really nicely detailed and painted. Well, it's, I, I don't think it's painted, it's actually just probably sculpted in black and that's it, but it's really nice nonetheless. Really like the matte black color of the figure. Overall, it's much better than if it was shiny. Um, the, just the gigantic um sabatons you know the leg armor that this guy has it's insane and he does have peck holes and some writing on the bottom of his feet so now let's get into the articulation forgot to mention that you can of course take the pistol and put it in his right hand you just kind of want to wedge it in there easier be having having said than done but oh my god again really stiff hands so you just want to kind of move it like this and boom he has it in his hand There's moving that. on to the articulation mind that this is my personal copy of the figure so i'm maybe a bit more careful with it starting from top to bottom starting with the head his head is it's hard to say but it's probably on a ball joint of some kind his head, oh no, I see. It's not his head, it's his whole neck piece or something. So he can, can look up this much, which is very nice. You can maybe have him in a flying position if you want. He can look up a bit and it swivels all the way around. He can do the full exorcist move. These big pauldrons um, do get out of the way because there you can see, I don't know if you can, they're on a tiny little ball joint. So you can move them around if you want. His arms go out this much. He cannot do full T-pose, but it's not bad for a chunky figure like this. Double jointed elbows, which go about this much, over 90 degrees, which is pretty nice. His hands, hard to say, they're on, they, they can swivel around, but I'm not sure about the hinge. And they don't really... Um... Okay, I see, they're on the usual McFarlane toys, 
swivel ball joint combo i don't know if you can see that but um so you can probably have horizontal or vertical hinge but it's really really stiff and i don't want to break it so just assume that it's the usual mcfarlane toys ball joint hinge thing on both hands his torso is on a ball joint it almost is like a double or something no it's oh this lower part seems to move a bit as well yeah there it is uh, the heel he can look up uh, this much he can move forward this much and there's some hula hopping as you can see very nice oh, and there's no side to side on the head of course um the legs are on a ball joint they uh, these hinder it quite a lot they go out uh, about just this much not a lot he cannot do the jean claude van damme which is okay again really hefty looking figure i would not i didn't expect this much articulation to be honest he can move his feet leg uh, forward this much and move back move it back this much it's very nice double jointed knees that's very very nice for a guy like this and let me just okay his feet that's very hard to say you are probably on a hinge they, they uh there is no rock side to side he can move it back this much and forward this much there's this nothing else but um for a figure like this this is actually not a bad articulation set so now let's get into the size and comparison and this figure seems to me standing at about 18 centimeters to the top of his head which translates to seven inches in height here he's standing next to the previously looked at McFarlane Toys The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Geralt of Rivia. And they're about the same height, but I actually feel like that, you know, I would have liked if this Warhammer figure was a bit taller, but I guess that would have been really pushing it in terms of, you know, plastic consumption uh, for the figure. Because I always think that these guys are just huge and extremely tall, but it's all right. Here he is staying next to a 6 inch scale figure, this one in particular is the Star Wars The Black Series uh, 20th Anniversary Clone Wars Arc Trooper. And here he is staying next to a can of Coca-Cola. And my final thoughts on this figure, I really like it, even though I have absolutely no connection to the Warhammer universe, I still bought this figure because it just looks so damn cool. And there's other variations of these uh, Warhammer type characters, there's this uh, one that looks kind of red and gold, there's an ultramarine that's full on blue, they come with different weapons, so I might actually just get into collecting these figures, because again, no connection to Warhammer, but just the look of these just really give off an old school, really cool looking space warrior, um, warrior character type, so it just very, it feels really nostalgic and they're just really nice really hefty big looking figure really good to just hold it in your hand really sturdy uh, the sculpting and paint applications are amazing accessories are not bad articulation is decent for this size and the price is really really good so this was my review on the macron toys warhammer 40k raven guard veteran uh, sergeant yeah that was it it was me, the collector. If you liked the video, consider leaving a like. Or if you didn't like the video, consider leaving a dislike. That's an option for you as well. If you like what I'm doing, consider subscribing to my channel. And comment down below if you think I missed anything uh, in terms of Warhammer, because I probably did. Uh, so I'll see you later.